The proposed project aims to utilize human resources from trained micronations who are readily available at the College of Micronesia Land Grant Program as a main force of technology transfer and capacity building in the area of sea cucumber and pearl, pearl aquaculture in the FSM. The sunfish holothuria scabra is the most favored tropical sea cucumber species for aquaculture development and this project is supported to train hatchery techniques for the younger generations in Pompeii. And the PI also supported a uh, hatchery development planning for a ma marine resources man management division of the Yap State and um, College of Micronesia Yap campus. For the Pearl Culture Program, this project supported to implement a small business and marketing development by displays and sales of pearls and pearl related product in domestic and overseas. Work group members such as atoll communities and small families in Pompeii were able to conduct local sales and the overseas work uh, um, and the overseas work group members promoted branding and sales development of the Micronesian Pearl product in Japan. In Pompeii uh, the project involved the three different species of the sea cucumbers and the left uh, picture shows the black teeth fish uh, broodstock and in the middle it's uh, sunfish broodstock and then the right is uh, green fish the fecundity of the, the black teeth and the sunfish is different and the sunfish is averaging up and around one million eggs per individuals and the black teeth fish is, uh, was about uh, 2 million in average 2 million eggs in average in Pompeii the sunfish hatchery run attained approximately 7 to 10 percent average survival rate from one set of larval yearling to the settlement which is considered to be a high rate among the sunfish hatchery operations of other countries. Some of the juveniles, approximately one and a half thousand of the two inch size, produced at the Niche Point Hatchery in Pompeii, were released into the seagrass bed at Penio Island for trial growth. A family of Penio Island is one of the work group members of this project. In Pompeii, three young uh, technicians acquired both sunfish and black teeth fish hatchery techniques, in which the black teeth fish Holothuria whitmai was reared for the first time in this species through to the settlement and the juvenile stages. So now we, we can compare that uh, some level development difference in the level development. And Holothuria whitmai is uh, slightly smaller uh, in, the, in the eggs compared to the Horsuria scabra sunfish. Uh, but later uh, they, they catch up with uh, the similar size and when they uh, settle as a pentactura and early juvenile stages. The black teeth fish is also regarded as one of the most favored tropical beach demo species. The complete larval development revealed that the larval duration of the black teeth fish was twice as long as that of the sunfish. Now we have three different species of uh, early auricularia stages. Um, in the middle um, the picture is the, the sunfish the early auricularia stage and the sunfish larvae has a distinct uh, morphological characteristics particularly on the posterior margins and they have tail like uh, median projection and on the other hand the sun, uh, black teeth fish and green fish um, don't have any uh, tail like posterior margin or like a smooth uh, almost a straight uh, posterior margin 
The characteristics of the posterior margin um, show that the uh, quite different um, from sunfish and black fish. And only so far sunfish show that uh, the tail like posterior margin. The the rest of the the auricularia stage of the, the different species, including a black teeth fish and apostichpus japonix and uh, iso stichopus uh, fuscas and all others so far. Um, I haven't seen any uh, tail like uh, projection in the posterior margin. So the sunfish, uh, the larvae. Uh, could be very unique among the oligarchical stage of the Horsurian sea cucumbers. The Doriolarium stage of the both species are almost identical, however, the, the sunfish uh, Doriolarium has more uh, the, the rich and uh, is uh, which, which, which are uh, more uh, prominent compared to. Um, uh, black teeth fish Doriolaria. The early pentactural stage and just metamorphosed from the Doriolaria to the settlement stage. Well, both species are uh, quite similar, however, that uh, the black teeth fish has uh, more rounded and uh, anterior part, uh, posterior part, and with the uh, cup out with the uh, uh, the brown or, or, or the purple brown um, ossicles all, all over the, the body surface. The, the black teeth which juveniles uh, show the striking color change from uh, brown to the red color and from red to black during the early juvenile stages. The juvenile stage of the sunfish is uh, characterized by uh, the very sharp uh, elongated uh, ossicles or, or spin, uh, spines and the sp spinules all over the body. This uh, picture is showing that the changing color of the, the juvenile is two months after fertilization and the left hand side actually changing color from red to black and uh, the right hand side um, the picture show that uh, the color change completed and now it's, um, the total body color is in black the brown color is just in showing that uh, the brown algae attached to the body surface they use uh, the debris or, or algae to camouflage their body in the surrounding environment. These two pictures are a typical uh, spawning posture of male specimens. In addition to the two sea cucumber species for the hatchery operation, we also conducted experimental asexual propagation of the green fish Stichopus chromonotus. The green fish is regarded as a substitute of the most expensive sea cucumber species Apostichopus japonics in the world market and thus the green fish asexual propagation has a potential aquaculture method for the places where any hatchery operation is not feasible such as remote island situation in the tropics. The four weeks uh, survival rate of uh, experiment has been conducted to get the basic information about the survival rates. And the result revealed that the four weeks survival rate of the posterior part of the body scored high between 74 and 90 percent, and that the posterior 
portion always survive better than the anterior part, regardless of number of fission, method of separation, cutting, or constricting. The posterior part of the body always uh, show that the better survival rate compared to anterior part of the body, and uh, regardless of the the wear uh, in the middle or cl closer to the the posterior side for the cutting point. In order to conduct uh, the asexual propagation for monitoring. Uh, for, for long-term monitoring and uh, we also uh, utilize the habitat simulator um, this is uh, the semi-closed uh, recirculating seawater system and um, initially uh, used for a uh, sunfish broodstock uh, holding and as well as uh, juvenile grow out uh, this system is also uh, the the advantage to monitor uh, the newly cut uh, green fish uh, without any uh, predators and uh, con contained in the, the system. In the upstate, the PIA inspected private sea cucumber operators and advised the state government for their hatchery based resource management and policy planning. Mr. Young work, work group members of uh, this project negotiated with the Marine Resources Ma Management Division to implement a collaborative hatchery development program in which MRMD would build a sm small hatchery at MRMD's waterfront site for the sea cucumbers and COM Yap Campus would collaborate to set up the facility and conduct hatchery skill training in Yap. In Pompeii, then, then we we also successfully uh, uh, ut utilized the tape as a settlement substrate, and uh, during the first nursery culture, uh, it was also uh, um, useful to grow uh, juveniles um, between one and two months after uh, fertilization. The pearl component of this project also uh, collaborated with uh, the Japanese uh, the nucleus, pearl nucleus uh, manufacturer and uh, we successfully uh, uh, produced a uh, the new type of uh, ballot pearls from our experimental organic polymer nucleus. This uh, nucleus, uh, organic polymer nucleus and expand its size within the body, uh, body of the pearl oysters. And within 10 months, and uh, uh, we produce at uh, 15 to uh, 20 millimeter bar of pearls. And now in, in Tahiti, uh, French Polynesia, and the commercial operations are ongoing, and then they are expecting to produce uh, 4,000 grams, uh, 4 kilograms of a bar of pearl. Uh, uh, produced from uh, this type of uh, organic polymer nucleus. For Herf Pearl project in Pompeii, the training for pearl farming com communities and the local use continue to make Herf Pearl ac accessories. This project is supported to conduct displays and the charity sales of Herf Pearl accessories in Pompeii. The sales and marketing and development efforts continued by involving overseas pearl jewelry traders. The jewelry traders in Japan uh, carried out the commercial sales by fair trade uh, for the Micronesian branded pearls. And also a gemological expert in Switzerland also um, examine the quality of and the potential of the pearls in the international market. Um, in conclusion, a lack of local skilled technician has always been a bottleneck in aquaculture development in Micronesia. 
those local technicians who were trained either in their own country or overseas are supposed to become a bigger agriculture industry. In small island states of Micronesia, the reality is that those who accomplish their training of agriculture skills are nowhere to go for engaging agriculture work. Skill training program of public sector, like a COM land grant, fell into an endless loop in which groups of trainees completed their training without getting their jobs. And yet such training program keep going with all the trainers or a senior extension staff. The PI understand that agriculture technology transfer should be conducted between the micronations and therefore I demonstrated such method in Pompeii, for example blocks of time siphon method and learning by training each other for both older or senior technicians and apprentices. There has been a dilemma in, in FSM where aquaculture industry is virtually non-existent. Skill training continues without providing employment opportunity to new technicians even if they possess high skills and knowledge. There is another reality the extension and research effort by the expatriate uh, specialist who had been employed repeatedly for technology transfer, skill training or research programs resulted in few local special specialists or technicians who matches the foreign specialist. What we are facing at present or maybe in the future is that how we manage to place these micronation technicians into a real aquaculture jobs and therefore the extension agent is also responsible for developing realistic aquaculture job models as well as advocating aquaculture extension work such as has been exercised in the developing, uh, developed country where many forms of aquaculture business exist. Thank you.